Future Stars Night here at Knoxville Raceway, and we're with one of the former Future Stars, Christian Bowman. Tell us a bit about your previous experiences at English Creek and how you came to Knoxville Raceway. I started racing at English Creek and started in the box side class, then moved up to the 125s, then eventually moved up to the 500s until I got comfortable with everything, got a couple wins under my belt, and then that's when we decided just to make a jump to uh, Knoxville in the 305 class. What were some of the biggest challenges jumping from that 500 to the 305 here at Knoxville? Uh, the size, definitely the size. Uh, in the go-kart, you kind of can see your front wheels, and then in, in the sprint car, you got that front nose wing that you really just can't see much. What was the biggest thing that you learned from racing out at English Creek that really helped you here? Uh, just don't give up. Everything just takes time. You got you to get laps, and that's mainly what it's about many laps as you can get in, the better. Jamie Ball, you used to be a future star, and now you've raced with the ASCS, you've raced at Knoxville, you've won a preliminary night at the 360 Knoxville Nationals. You are a future star that is here and now. Tell us a bit about your start at English Creek and how it got you to where you are today. Uh, English Creek was pretty much the only reason that I'm racing today. My mom wouldn't let me race uh, back in the day because there was nothing around here that had a cage on it. And uh, my mom was big on safety and my dad was busy racing himself. And uh, when Dan brought the QRC carts out, uh, Nick DeMoss, who was a eighth grade teacher of mine, had an extra cart lying around, and I gave him a bad enough time that uh, he let me hop in it. And uh, the rest is history. I, I uh, raced there from 2005 to 2009, and then been in a sprint car ever since. What were some of the biggest changes, challenges, things that were awesome when jumping from a go kart to the sprint cars? Oh, probably the speed's probably the biggest thing. Um, having power steering is a little bit of a different feel and shocks. But uh, in my opinion, outlaw carts are the best best thing you can prepare yourself with to race a sprint car. Just uh, the horsepower to weight ratio, uh, the throttle response, uh, just how quick it's there is uh, really rivals a 410 sprint car. So uh, it's a great training ground. English Creek, you got to race pretty hard to be fast. You can't really take a lap off. And uh, at Knoxville, you kind of learn that. And then racing with the ASCS National Tour, I've learned that just the intensity and trying to go uh, as hard as you can all the time. Um, English Creek's probably maybe short of the Wild West shootout there in Montana, the fastest track that I've ever ran at in an outlaw cart. And uh, it definitely definitely gets people ready. And I think it shows based on, you know, myself, Ryan Levitt, Austin McCarl, Carson McCarl, uh, Nate Mills, Christian Bowman, we all started out there. So it's, it's pretty cool what it's turned into be. So be sure to check out English Creek Speedway every Friday night, because this is where stars are born.